Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful pink and gold resin tray with matching resin coasters. After she mixed her part A and part B resin together, she separates it into smaller cups to add the pigments. The first pigment she's going to be using is Depon's alcohol ink in the shade Electric Magenta. And she'll be adding Pinata's alcohol ink in the shade Calabaza Orange in as well. After mixing, she decided to add more of the Electric Magenta alcohol ink and continues to mix and add until she's happy with the shade. In her next cup, she'll be adding a pink mica powder by Resin Pro. Now she's adding a lighter shade pink mica powder into the same cup. And in her third cup, she's going to be adding Casting Crafts white pigment. Now that all of her pigments are mixed, she starts by pouring the white pigmented resin into two corners of the mold. And she pours clear resin into the opposite corners. Then she takes her pink pigmented resin and pours it right alongside where she poured the white. And continues to add more clear resin into the opposite areas. Then she takes her cup with the alcohol ink mixed with resin and pours it right alongside the pink pigmented resin. And she goes back and adds more of the mica powdered mixed with resin. And pours clear resin into the center of the molds. And continues to add more pigmented resin into the corners. Now she's adding white pigmented resin and then we'll add more pink pigmented resin. Now she'll be adding in gold flakes into a small cup of resin and mixes it together to then be poured into the center of the molds. As usual, I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you see in this video, make sure to check that out. And I'll have my Deepon discount code in the description as well. She uses a wooden stick to help spread and blend the gold flakes. And she also uses the wooden stick to help pull in some of the pigmented resin into the center. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and is moving it in a very quick motion not to burn the resin or the silicone molds. Now she's carefully adding in handles into the tray mold.
She adds some final touches and is adding more white accents onto the tray and coaster molds before she comes back the next day. And to her surprise, this is what it looked like the next day. For those of you who have been on this channel for a while, you may know that this has happened to us already multiple times. And hopefully it won't happen anymore, but you do have to make some mistakes to learn, sometimes even multiple times. We're pretty sure it's the piñata alcohol ink that is causing this, and because of its low density, it's able to rise to the top, intensify, and overpower the other pigments. For some reason, while it's curing, the alcohol ink is able to change color and can take on a complete different color than what you saw while you were pouring. Although this doesn't happen every time that we've used alcohol ink, so it can be a little tricky finding out which brand works or which combination of pigments to use. But if you've encountered a similar problem, let us know and leave a comment down below. Luckily, this is an easy fix, so my mom is going to be mixing up more pigments. She's going to be using a light shade of pink mica powder and is also going to be mixing in Casting Crafts white pigment. And she also adds Deepon's Ghost Pearls to give it a nice shimmer. She starts by pouring her white pigmented resin into the two corners. She added very little pigment so that it's not opaque. And follows by adding the light pink mica powder pigmented resin right alongside. She adds her clear resin into the middle and then repeats a similar process of rotating between pigmented resins and adding them into the two corners. As you can see, she had taped the handles onto the tray to protect them from accidentally getting any resin on them. She uses the makeup brush to help move the pigment and add subtle highlights of white pigment. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the tray and coasters the next day. She added a top coat and a gold trim, and here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.